pandemic of Nadwy Covid wedi effeithio ar baw bledled Cymru. Bi'n anodd iawn ar lawer o ddiwydiannau a chafodd effaith sylweddol ar y celfyddydau hefyd. Yn y ffilm hon, rydym yn dangos sut y llwyddodd sector y celfyddydau i ymateb i amgylchiadau na wel oedd eu tebyg erioed o'r blaen, gan ddangos dychymig, arloesedd a chydernid. Pan darodd y pandemig, aeth sector y celfyddydau ati ar unwaith i ymgysylltu mewn ffyrdd newydd a'u cymunedau. Ron the Cannon Taff was one of the hardest hit areas. One of the things that we've been really passionate about is how can we get out and reach the people who kind of need us most. And we did everything from delivering 30,000 meals to our local community. Really vulnerable families were struggling with anxiety. So we created this beautiful therapeutic storytelling project. We were able to deliver our food stocks really quickly to the families who need the most in our county. We did that in partnership with social services. And that quickly moved into understanding how difficult it was for those families to have any creative respite. So we created over 300 creative packs that went out to those families. And that matched some of the work that we were doing with the dementia sufferers. The Chreoedd Sefydliadau Celfyddydol ar Draws Cymru gefnogi'r bobl o'u cwmpas a oedd dan strain o ganlyniadau'r pandemig. Ac un o'r grwpiau yna ydy Dementia Active Gwynedd. Fel grŵp sy'n gweithio gyda pobl hun a pobl pregus, mae nhw wedi colli tipyn o bobl dros y blwyddyn ddiwethaf. Wnaeth ni ddyddio coreografi a cyfroriaeth Swan Lake. Mae'r ffilm wedi gael ymateb arbennig o dda, mae wedi mynd yn feirol. Da ni hyd yn oed wedi gael neges hyfryd gan Matthew Bone yn sôn am faint mor hyfryd o'r ffilm. Nath yn gyrru neges i ni a Twitter yn gweud o'r yn beautiful yn really moving. Gyda chyfyngiadau'r cyfnod clo, daeth gweithio'n ddygidol yn rhan o'r norm newydd, gan helpu ysbrydoli mathau newydd o waith creadigol. We took some time, actually, after we closed the gallery to understand what we wanted to do. We didn't necessarily want to translate the exhibition we had in the gallery online, and so we invited a number of external curators to produce new works, a series of radio programs, a whole week of uh, television streaming using twitch.com, a whole series of Instagram TV commissions. We wanted always to have a digital strand of the program, but we never really got around to do it in terms of capacity and time and resources. I can't believe it, but in Cynnal Hwnna, Cynnal y Berthynas, gyda Pobl Ifenc, ar ateb oedd mynd yn digidol. Mae'r gymuned leol wedi bod mor gefnogol mae'n dosbethiadau dawnsni, dosbethiadau celf, dosbethiadau ni meiddio, i ni'n falch iawn o abertwa y gwyl ffilm arswyd sy'n y dod y ganolfan yma Lenni bydd rhaid iddi fod yn ddigidol yn unig a diolch i gaz a'r tîm yn y sinema a hynny yn llwyddiannus iawn, iawn, iawn. Mae'n glir fod technoleg wedi helpu darparu mynediad gwell i'r celfyddydau ac mae hefyd wedi annog llawer o gydweithredu creadigol newydd. One of the most exciting projects has been our partnership with CADU. Whilst people were trapped at home and not able to engage in both the nature and the history, they were able to do so from the comfort of their sofa. We've always believed passionately in the power of digital as a means of breaking down barriers, a great way of democratising access. The virtual and digital world can open up accessibility to audiences that cannot physically access a space. Mae cael mynediad corfforol i ddigwyddiadau diwylliannol mawr wedi bod yn anodd dros ben yn ystod cyfnod Covid, ond mae llawer o gynhyrchwyr digwyddiadau wedi ymateb yn gadarnhaol i'r her. So, wedyn penderfynu y gallwn ni ffrydio'r cyfan o gastell Caer Dydd a cael Hugh Stevens a Tara Bethan yn lliwi o'r dwrnod cyfan i ddynu. So, oedd yna rhaglen dyledu byw chwech awr ar gyfer tafwyl llynedd. Ond eto lenni, ddyn ni wedi gweld bod yna dros 30 mil o bobl wedi mwynhau tafwyl 2021 a nifer o'r rheini ni ddyn unig o Gymru a, a Phrydain Fawr, ond wedi ymuno dros y byd i gyd, felly yn sicr mai diddordeb yng Nghelfyddydau Cymru ar hyd y lled y byd. Try the digidol in help you get the bead in a hangar. Be my wife George Floyd. I can get here minute yet, my bawade deal boys. And hub in Savadliade Kelva the doll. He is stereoed and brilliant. A hydra doll deb with the free. Aki with ready. People are starting to realize that things need to change. Things need to be different. You know, we can't go back to the same old normal. 
We appointed eight creative associates. They'll reflect with us, work with us to help to embed the change that's required to make this organisation more creative. I really hope that this drive towards diversifying the arts is not just a flash in the pan, something that comes and goes, but it's something that we continue to strive for, a massive part of the recovery effort where there is so much change that can be made, let's make it positive. Mae Covid wedi cael effaith angyfartal ar bobl o rai cefndiroedd ethnig ac wedi effeithio am fawr ar rai sy'n ymdopi ac yn hablaedd a salwch i'r dymor. Rhybeth y mae llawer o sefydliadau wedi ceisio mynd i'r afael ag ef. One of the 12 artists that we've commissioned for the Many Voices One Nation show is Kaz Alexander. She's a very severely disabled woman confined to home. Unfortunately, she did catch Covid, but during what was an incredibly traumatic time, she posted photographs on Instagram every day of her experiences in the hospital and it's helped her recovery and it's also enabled her to share ex experiences with a wider audience. Roedd yr her i barhau a gwaith addysg a gwaith maes pwysig yn amlwg rhaid ar ddechrau'r pandemig. We had to cancel our pre-professional programme. We lost a lot of income. The first steps to responding was taking a little step back and seeing what we could do strategically. One of the positive things we've been able to do is to really expand our education work all over the world, from America, South America, from all over Europe. Our adult ballet classes, taking them online, it's just totally international and, and national as well. Scottish ladies joining in our Welsh language ballet classes, that's been absolutely brilliant. Un peth da ni wedi ddarganfod o'r profiad yma wrth weithrau gwersi ar Zoom, bod ni'n gallu cyrraedd unrhyw yn rhywle yn y byd. Yn ddiweddar, mae yna ferch o Patagonia ar enghraifft wedi cychwyn cael gwersi drwy gyfrwng y Gymraeg efo ni bob pythefnos, gwersi telyn, a mae yna ŵr o Indonesia hefyd yn cael gwersi. A go ar dalaith eraill o Gymru sydd ddim o fewn cymiwt i gan arfon. Mae'r pandemig wedi bod yn anodd, ond mae wedi bod yn fodd i sicrhau newid. Roedd rhaid bod yn lot fwy beithgar, lot fwy creadigol. Fe lawnsio ni ymgyrch pethau bychain fel ffordd o ddweud ym stori beth sydd bod yn ymlaen yng Nghymru yn ystod blwydd yn y pandemig. A'r pethau bychain mae pobl yn gallu gwneud sydd yn gallu gwneud y byd yn le gwell. Dwi'n meddwl bod ni wedi dysgu lot yn ystod y cyfnod y pandemig. Mae artistiaid yng Nghymru wedi bod yn andros o hyblyg yn y ffordd maen nhw di ymateb ac yn greadigol a wedi creu gwaith godidog. Mae hablygrwydd a chreadigrwydd wedi helpu sefydliadau celfyddydol i ymateb yn chwym ac i ailfeddwl am sut maent yn cysylltu a'u cymunedau. We've established new areas of work with different audience groups that we hadn't worked with previously. Um, one of these is a group of Portuguese elders um, and initiated it through sending letters through the letterboxes. The connection we've been able to establish is so much stronger. We don't always have to initiate projects by inviting people in. There are great benefits to starting projects with people in their homes where they're most comfortable. Drwy gynnig cymorth helaeth yn ystod y cyfyngiadau, mae cyngor celfyddydau Cymru wedi ceisio diogelu'r sector gelfyddydol a chredigol. Without that emergency funding, we would have been struggling to operate and look towards a positive, creative future. Dan ni'n hynod o ddiolchgar am y gefnogaeth gyllau ni o granfeydd Covid cyngor celfyddydau mae'r gefnogaeth ariannol yn ydy bod yn gwbl allweddol i ni yn y flwyddyn dwysaf. Ys yn ni ddim wedi gallu cyflawni, beth yn ni wedi cyflawni heb y gefnogaeth yna. Funding has enabled us to pivot quickly and help our communities during this time. Without that, we may have had to make mass redundancies. We, we certainly wouldn't have been able to help our communities in the way that we have. Mae'r gefnogaeth ariannol hon wedi golygu bod pobl Cymru wedi gallu parhau i gymryd rhan a mwynhau'r celfyddydau. I'm a mother of two boys. Both have special needs. I was given the opportunity to attend the Pro Jump sessions. It really touched places that we needed to be with my son's issues. It's been difficult to be motivated. I feel that the music has been as helpful to me as my medication. The one thing I, I felt myself craving in lockdowns was community. To be offered an opportunity in you know a vacuum of like not much happening, it was it was an absolute joy. A dros yr amser clo yma, mae o wedi bod yn edrych ymlaen o'n arw i gael y sesiynau wythnosol. Cawn ni ydy bob dim i ywan a cael gweld i ffrindiau, felly si gan i mor i ochgar. Mae'r ymateb creadigol rhyfeddol hwn wedi cael effaith bositif ar fywydau pobl yn ystod cyfnod anodd. 
drwy arloesi, ysbrydoli a chreu cysylltiadau newydd rhwng pobl, gofod, mannau a chymunedau mae celfyddydau wedi goroesi ac adeiladwyd seiliau cadarn ar adfer y sector yng Nghymru. The impact of the arts on people's well-being have been invaluable in supporting people's mental health. The Covid break has allowed us to step back and hopefully be more strategic in the future. We didn't just do art for art's sake, we did art in order to make sure that communities were really supported when they needed that support. The hope is that now people are actually recognising that it's an issue, we will start to see a more diverse workforce and a more diverse culture. Gwaith o ail adeiladu ar ymdeimlad o Gymdeithas mynd i Gymru peth amser, ond dwi'n gwbl hyderus fod rôl pwysig iawn gan y cylfyddydau i wneud hynny ac i wireddu hynny.